Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. This one's about Queen Mary Atlas, created in, well, circa 1555-1559. So this Portolan or Atlas consists of three tables and nine large ornamented maps executed by the Portuguese cartographer Diogo Homan Homem between 1555 and 1559. The manuscript is thought to have been made for King Philip II of Spain, possibly as a gift from Queen Mary I of England, though it was not completed until after her death. The Atlas 12 maps and tables span each verso and its facing recto. And that's the contents. So let's have a look at it. This is the first page we see. Now, according to that, is the lunar calendar. Well, first of all, um, they're using the perfect circle. First of all, oops, sorry, to represent this data. It says fifteen forty there. So on the round the outside. doesn't say on this one uh, anniversary northern bird so I thought this was interesting anyway that they used the perfect circle to chart the numbers of the moon cycle I have no idea how to read this and I would absolutely love to understand it. To get a better under better understanding of what they knew. This next bit. And this is interesting how so what's this uh tables of solar declination, perhaps? Solar calendar. It's not a zonal map of the world. But you see in here. Again, they've used the perfect circle to represent the Earth. I think this is the another lunar calendar. I just find it interesting how they've done. They've labelled this with A to G, and that has significance to do with frequencies to do with sounds right so I actually was trying to represent the rainbow in terms of frequencies and, and their colors corresponding to the um, bandwidth and the keys to space and so perhaps this is what this is about I can't tell you I have no idea perhaps but anyway it's very detailed um, numbers and stuff you know data wise I have no idea how to read it though to be honest you got this one Tempe what does it say up here I'll read that Tempe Arata Zona Toroida Zona Toroidal Zone All right perhaps Tempo Arata Zona That's a cold, frigid zone. Frigid is cold, right? And that's zone, so it's a frigid, it's a cold zone. Circa San Tartis. 
Santa Ortiz. Maramos. I can't read that. And you got the winds. These are the winds. It tells you which direction, like if they're going probably in there, facing east, it'll go this way or, or whatever. But what are they depicting here? How to circumnavigate the earth? Perhaps. Next. Oh, I've got some crazy books coming. And this is just in the uh, British Library. Digitised manuscripts. And then we're getting into the uh, maps. Fifteen fifty eight in this one. Scale. Crown. You got a demon there that with his mouth open. Tongue sticking out. Big ass chin. Oh, I've got a few got a few beasts to show you that used to walk the earth. Found a beast the airy from like the fifteen hundreds. It's <laughs> it's fascinating. Got the Templar Templar Cross. Again, these look like devils. These look like demons. And you got the map of the earth pretty much as it is today this this looks like a hive mind area Greece and Rome what's this over here Cross. That's in India. So this is a map to say where the Templars are Templars currently own. Of Concord. Going all the way into Russia. China. India. Brazil. Of Brazil, South uh, Africa, these mountains. Whew. It's a very warm day today. And then straight over here, South America looks slightly different, doesn't it? This landmass looks connected down here a lot. But, see? But again, it shows perhaps that these people have took control over these lands. And Templar Cross. Same as America. The Arctic Circle. all these lines a lot of these manuscripts are actually re reused so you can actually see things through it from other um, from other things I can't remember what the exact name of that is called but it has a name Britain Royal Britannia coming straight out of where London, Edinburgh, Scotland's got the lion, Harp, it's called 
I burn here. Yeah, burn here. Another weird looking dude. It's like a hat on with hair coming out the other side of it. Can you have Chinook? Epcotia. Giant ships. I used to love doing puzzles like this when I was growing up. Absolutely loved them. But again, they're using the perfect circle. What's this? What is that? I know it's just a banner, but it's got an odd shape. That reminds me of the cancer sim sign. Or a military medal. These are medals, right? Perhaps. These are medals? Because that looks like a ribbon. This is a ribbon. It's got buttons. So this is a medal of some kind. Military, maybe. And that looks like a medal as well, doesn't it? Interesting. Now is this the cent their center point? I wonder what was depicted there. It looks like a, a demon's face. Yeah, again. See, look, it's red. Eye there and eye there, perhaps. Definitely, though. Look at all this, man. It's rammed. Look at this. This is how it used to look like. So like all the <laughs> all the fantasy stuff we see like within RPGs and stuff and like Dark Souls for example. Um it's all based on real reality. It's all based upon the ancient past. They literally if you looked in, you know, research Star Forts, I will be going into these subjects myself, but there's plenty out there to be seen already. Um Martin Litka, for example, Flat Earth British, and uh, John Levy. It's just a couple of names to throw out there if you've, you're interested in learning the ancient past, right? These things are real. These castles, these star forts were all across the earth at one point, and they were all connected to one another through energy lines, and I'm sure. This has something to do with it. These, you know, them making maps, making the connections. How old is it though? How, how, you know, when did the mud floods happen? According to what we've been told. I mean, we have no, we have no idea, right? Because we have to work out first of all, true history. We have to put the time back together again. Look at this. Oh. Got like a shed on the back of this ship, of some kind. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is either. Nice sword. This is Barbaria. Barbarians. this one Manatia Manata so I've never heard any of these names for England none of them oh it's because it's Spain that's why you dickhead Duh. again you can see that it's things on here it's just faded
Highly detailed, really. They didn't have GPS, they just went around and used their eyes, right? Hmm. That's the subject, isn't it? Look how, look how much stuff is on this, this piece. This is crazy. Way to Britannia. Again, another demon character. Two horns. Hair coming out of his face. Weird. Vases, and another horned demon. Lombaroya. But yeah, look at these castles. Look at these star forts, man. Look, this is what they look like. And we still see the remnants of this around us today. You know, this is why our history is wrong because we've never been told about this part of our history really and how it's it was built during a time when there was peace on the earth a time they've never told you about it's crazy I mean look, look at the details of the castles and stuff I'm not making this stuff up man because this is <laughs> this is what you go and find when you research the Tartaria stuff in the mud floods, everything's been mud flooded out, and what's left is just antiquity and a lot of technology that's been hidden from us. To free energy, to particularly, again, I will be doing uh, a few videos on star forts, a couple of books I found. Just to show you, again, I'll link everything up in the description and you know, deciphering these flags and stuff so that um, you can look at these yourself in your own time. Look at these ships. Wow, there's a battle going on here. Cannons. Look how flat it is though. That's a bottom. That's a flat bottom ship. With a shed at the back of it. With uh, three towers at the back. And that's Matey Oak controlling it. Loads of soldiers inside. Or rowers. Rowers. They're probably soldiers as well. Just getting blown out of the water. this then another flag crescent moons on it pink maybe these are the colors of the the places where they come from their banners right you know destiny your banner Gordian Right. Uh, colourful huts. Mad. Teepees in that. Native American teepees. <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, got more stuff down here. Camels. For an Arabia now. More banners. State lions, all male, same. Never amazing looking castle. So yeah, that's the Mediterranean. So 
Sardinia, Sicily, and Sicily. It's Corsica. Sadly, you can't see them all. It's good they've been digitized though, so that we can look at them. Imagine the stuff that they don't put on though. Imagine the stuff they've got that they just don't even want you to look at. I mean, this stuff's revealing as it is, right? Giants and just civilization completely destroyed, but built out and then flooded. Dice. Got this black guy. King, clearly, he's king. He's got the uh, Fleur de Lily, his golden staff. Tribeman. I'm gonna go with this black armadillo. He's crunchy on the outside, but soft in the middle. Armadillo! <laughs> Castles. Giants again. Where are we? Africa, clearly. Jesus. But you can see it's all been built out. All these labels are cities, places. Uh, royalty, purple. Because we got a perception of, well, no symbolism, but we got a perception of the of these royals, to because of what we learned today about them. But I don't think in history they were all evil. I think they actually were good people, and they actually helped create civilization. These giants. There might have been several of them. The Apakalu, as it's mentioned in uh, the Sumerian literature, the, the seven giants that helped kickstart humanity again after the Great Deluge. This monster fishes. And this is what you see in these manuscripts giants and beasts. It's particularly during this period, war. There must have been flooding. Tribes. Because all the tribes have, you know, stories of when they were at war, let's call it. Which is why they still carry their weapons today and, and still hold their traditions. But in my personal opinion, it's because they, they at one point, lived that experience and it was something that they would never forget and this is something which is happening again today us in this experience are going to write it down and we will never forget it we will never forget yes there's different river systems Fascinating stuff. So unfortunately, and then we're going into the this side of Africa. Bon Alps, Bon Alps, the cross. Mud flooded castle. Tropic of Capricorn. Madagascar. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? Oh. What's this? Is this plan for an extension or something to the island? Graves. No oh, idea. 
Interesting, though. Fishing lanes. Maybe they go fishing. This is fishing. Cause I can't. I don't understand the language, so it doesn't. It doesn't help. Can't read it. What's this? Blob. Wow, that beast. What nice teeth you have there. All the better to eat you with. Kind of puts things in perspective, though, when you kind of look at the biblical stories. And, albeit, it, <laughs> for example, Jonah and the whale getting swallowed by a whale. If these, if if these things were truly around, and they're still out there, you know, kind of, it makes you makes you question, right? How old is that story though? And is it older? Still. Does it go back even further in time? Yeah, me on his throne. White guy in Africa. So there you go. An Arab. Perhaps. But white man in Africa in charge. All my bloody castles, teepees, wow, that's things in history that will unfortunately wither away very quickly unless preserved under certain circumstances, which is rare. It's a piece together though. What was once lost to understand it takes time, but it's doable. Absolutely. Look at this thing. It's amazing. All the different flags. Elephants. Next page. This India, Asia, yeah. Going into China and Russia that way up here. Japan. Feeling Japanese, I really think so. I think I'm turning Japanese. Philippines. Indonesia. Australia is not mapped in that. Well, somewhere around here is this is uh it's meant to be the center of the earth in Indonesia somewhere. Can't remember exactly where. Let's have a look at this ship. It's amazing detail, isn't it? Looking for dates. Sometimes they contradict it because sometimes you see it's a J and not a one over time on certain uh, manuscripts. Or an I, not a one. It does say in the Bible we won't know the time we live in. I think it's true because of these things because they've lied about everything look at this thing and a white man king in control of India pass a name Oh, it's a shame. I don't think there's many left. Where are we to now? India. Yeah. So 
Oh, look. What is that? Look at that. Coming out of the water. What is that? That's a... That should... That doesn't belong there. Sip. Ten. Tree. You got this beast over here, look. Wow. They definitely depicted what they saw, folks. Is this Ireland? Yeah. Anglia. Britain. Ireland. So their centres over here. Right there. Nothing there though. Always there. And they've just hit it. It does look like something's been here. And it has to be because America's not all the way over there. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Wow, Greenland. thing up here or a beast of a fish because yeah, so there were giants in those days weren't they so giant fish for giant things giant beings giant trees it's wicked coming to get you Where are we at now? This looks like America. So this is the, yeah. West coast of America. Look at this inlet up. Much bigger than what it is today. Straight up to a castle. Wonder where that is in America. Rome, folks. Rome. Babylon was in America. Rome. Rome, 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 Rome. Rome. Where is it? It's in America, folks. What was the capital called before it was called Washington? Rome. Look this stuff up, please. Right between Virgin and... Mary, right? Maryland in Virginia sat Rome. Look into Diana's mirror and the lake. Diana's mirror. Demons. Look at that. What oh, monsters. Abominations, one might call them. Crazy. One might call me. So the mud flood, folks. Mud flood. How did it happen? What can living in our day today tell us about the past weather modification nuclear war a history that we've never been told to do with free energy that you know that lasted a thousand years this is interesting that it's probably a river system It was. Where are we 
Oh no. Back in the Met, are we? No. We're in America. America. There's a lot going on here. I mean, look, they're eating humans. Look, they're cooking humans. These cannibals. Got torso parts everywhere up there, look. Next to a, hung on a tree. Wow. Massive bird. I think all of these are cannibals though. No? You never know. But yeah, look at that. Yum yum. Lovely. Mm. Desperate, eh? And you got all these birds around and stuff. Ah, maybe that's why though. Because there's an army here, look. Whose army is this? Coming in. The Grace. The great state. Nah, I just think it's blue, but TPs. What's going on down here then? Workers. Their axes. I think he's got his like stick. El Cusco. Lion. Looks like it's got a human face, almost. Who flags this plant here then? No idea. Mountains, giants, white men, fur, ginger hair. Animals. I don't think they're a bit too big for living in those huts. What's this dude doing? Chopping a tree down. You know, all these different colours going down the river. Don't know what they mean. Islands, maybe? Don't know. Rome. So this one's definitely connected to Rome. The black, the red, and the gold is the colours of Rome. With silver as well, but. Another monster. That's it. Yep. So that was the Queen Mary's Atlas from 1555. Please share, and sub yeah. Please share, like, and subscribe. I've got many more manuscripts to show. So till next time.